Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. Last time, a couple of you guys reminded me that there's something very important that I neglected to do here. Fill out the mini-map! Or, well, just the map, I guess. It's not really a mini-map, but... Yeah, I forgot to do that. Whoops. I was just so distracted by the cat girl, I just forgot about that so i just came back here off screen with the encounters disabled so that i wouldn't like get farther ahead than I oh well i did disable it before i guess i returned it back to normal before i made the save there but uh okay we're done with our business here there's a couple more catmancy attacks that i would like to learn now they're not extraordinarily useful, but we might as well go after them now. And after that battle, we got up to level 8. Freelancer, for you, to learn JP up. So now, I want to make him back into a wizard and keep developing him over there. And yeah, we lost Spellcraft because that's the innate passive for wizard there. So let's see, for him... Let's see. Well, obviously, we want everyone to have JP up. You have to have that on each individual character, not, like, once and it's a full top, full party effect. No, no. You gotta have it for everyone. So, yeah, let's get JP up there. Keep you on... Well, actually, hold on. Let's get triple wield going. Now that we've got spellcraft in eight, we don't need to... Uh, what is it? Switch out these abilities and let's see okay so i think i'm gonna want a little bit of a speed boost for you there and let's see yeah let's get you back onto another rod there you go oh and i suppose i should heal up after that last battle huh yeah we got a lot of jp out of that one and, yeah, I think we can uh, cure the poison there a little bit, too. Very nice. Okay, so I am heading back to Ant Chime there, but only just to teleport somewhere else. All right, now after that battle, we got up to level 8 Freelancer for Magnolia, so she got JP up as well. And I want her to go back to being a wizard as well. And equip the proper secondary abilities this time around let's see well it doesn't especially matter i mean what else am i gonna do i'm i'm not gonna use holy magic because i need to save their mp for attacking enemies there i suppose i could go with like thievery or something for steel mind at least what do i even have uh what is it as far as there was another ability that was or cat nancy i was thinking about but no we don't have it yet so, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess thievery, but you're not going to deal much damage with it or restore that much MP with it, so... As a wizard, that is. So, oh well. So, I guess we might as well just go with miscellany and warfare this time around. Okay, so you get that, and then, yeah, I'm pretty much going to do the similar thing with Magnolia, except I don't think she needs the speed boost as much and besides i need another slot open for precog so let's get that going and what else oh uh no that wasn't it wait was it oh right uh triple wheel whoops skipped over that okay get that going there and then okay so yeah you has just a little less agility than Magnolia does, well, a bit more than I thought it would be, but still, I mean, 24, it's okay, but I would like to have a little more margin for error for them. But yeah, so the reason why I'm sending them back to Wizard is to unlock uh, the Blast Spellcraft. That'll be really useful against groups of different enemies. And then, of course, we got Full Charge for extra damage it's okay but um it can be useful in the right situation but uh yeah more so i'm looking forward to getting rain and arrow for both of them those are really good against the right enemy formations ventriloquism is also 
completely broken, but that's not an absolute high priority. So, for now, I want to get them both up to level 9 wizard there. In case you both, or you all, have... Yeah, JP up. Okay, good, good. Got that going. Okay, so I don't think I need to change too much else with my setup. Since I am going to be going into uh, the ocean coming up here to pick up a couple more Catmancy, I want to go back to Katana's, at least on Tiz. Maybe even on Idea there, that might be a good idea. Let's see, what do we got there? Okay, so we do have Katana lore. I'm just thinking if I want to give her Waste Knot. I don't think so. I don't think that's uh, like an extraordinarily high priority. Although she's really good on her speed already. Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't you give, give her Katana lore? You could take Katana lore too because now I'm going back to older areas where the enemies are slower. So I don't really need the speed boost as much. Although the defense isn't really that extraordinary either. Why don't we get you on Waste Knot there? Yeah, we'll just go with this for now. We're going to be more powerful than anything I encounter, so... Yeah, I'm really uh, going overboard here. This is not really that important. <laughs> oh, and uh, let's see. Yeah, let's get you back on your Mithril Rod. Okay. Oh, I don't really need the Thief's Gloves, but they are stronger than Mittens, so... Might as well take it. Kind of reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy V. But, uh, okay, so we got all that. How about we uh, teleport back to Gothladio? And as long as we're in the area, let's talk to some kitties. So there were some cats around the city that we couldn't talk to before, but now we can. Oh, well, yeah, I, that goes without saying. Still can't talk to the pigs, though. Oh, well. Are there any other cats around here? I don't think so. Not to my recollection. There's not really a whole lot of uh, cats in this world. But, uh, okay, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything there. Yeah, yeah, we'll just go with... Oh, wait, no! There's one in the Sanctum, I remember. That I couldn't, uh, well, do anything with before. At least I think there's one in the Sanctum. Or at least one. Okay, so you're not a cat. Ah, there you are! Ha-ha! Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean... I mean, you could just stare at a wall thinking that you actually see something there. But, yeah, why are you guys praying to a wall? I thought there was another cat around here. Hmm. Okay, I guess not, or at least nothing that I can tell. Okay, never mind then. Oh, that's... Well, I guess you're hosed then. But all right, okay, yeah, let's, uh, what I want to do now is I want to go back to the Bal Crater for a couple reasons, actually. Not just to learn a new cat, Mancy, but also to, uh, if you recall, there was Mr. Owl over there. And now that we've gotten a Swordmaster or Summoner, either way, you can get something from him. So I want to go back there for that, too. But I don't want to wait until, like, I could open the blue chest, because that would just take way too long. So let's go get what we can now. I would like it to remain daytime, so that I can encounter more vultures for my bestiary completion. But I'm also looking for deathfish as well, for a cat man, see. They're slightly more common at nighttime, but not extraordinarily so. So, either way. Well, there's a vulture, at least. Okay, so with these guys, yeah, why don't we just have Adia get the job done. I could use 
uh, what is it, a firearm with, like, Tiz, let's say, to exploit the aerial creature type of those guys, or these guys. Uh, let's see. Yeah, why don't we just go with two tornadoes? That ought to be more than enough to get the job done. Wow! I really hope I can get the Catmancy after, like, yeah, three or four battles. There we go. So that way I can actually get something useful out of the battle other than the Catmancy itself. Uh, let's see. I'm thinking if I could kill, like, one or two of them. But, uh, yeah, I think we're just going to default and not fight any more consecutive battles. Three is more than enough. There's the Catmancy. Boom. We got it. We're good to go. Hooray! But all right, yeah, now we can just, yeah, spam lightning. Actually, I probably didn't even need to do that. I could have just used my katanas, but, eh, whatever. But yeah, spray is a water elemental attack that pierces default, but it doesn't deal any more damage than a conventional physical attack otherwise. So, yeah, it's, li its use is somewhat limited, but there are situations where I would like to have that like land turtles or any of them really i think almost every one of them will try to default and they're weak to water although you could just use battle items to get the job done so why bother really but uh oh i forgot to uh rest up at gathaladio well i can just rest up at the adventure but first let's uh get back into the event viewer i want to keep it Daytime. Oh, uh, can I get back to the moon base? There we go. Even more special moves. Yeah, why don't we put everyone back there? Or almost everyone, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I usually only have like 31 workers at this point in the game. But that ought to do for quite a while. Okay, so we got all that. And then... Oh, I think I'm already... Yeah. We're already healed up. Let's keep on going, then. It's not like I'm going to use that much MP anyway. I mean, as far as healing up goes. But I'd like to have the margin for error. But that's okay. We'll be fine. Not to mention the enemies are really weak by my standards at this point. Um, Let's try and find an enemy here. All right. We made it. Let's get inside before it turns nighttime. Uh, I think I'm a split second too late. It's going to be night time when I get out. Oh, well. But I did get another vulture. How many more do I need for my bestiary completion? Oh, a couple more. Yeah, I should probably be able to get that on the way back to, well, Gothladio there. Or Anchime or wherever we're going. But, uh, oh, yeah, we got, let's see, the Spray Cat Mancy. Now, there is another one that I want to pick up while we're here. And once again, how about we go, well, I was going to say, how about we go with some swords, but actually, yeah, we, well, we, not only do we not have that many, that wouldn't be a good idea anyway, because I'm not proficient with swords. I, unfortunately, uh, the equipped sword ability that you could get from Fencer is level nine there. That takes for ever to learn and by the time i can learn it i don't know that i would want to use it so i mean i am going to do more with fencer eventually but it's not a high priority but uh okay we're done with katanas here let's get some speed back up and okay i think that ought to be good i'm just thinking if i want to equip yeah, you know what? How about we equip the tech item amp now, since I don't really have much better to do. Let's see, why don't we give you Waste Not and attack item amp as well. I don't know that I'll use them that much, but it's available. Mithril Knuckles are going to deal a lot of damage to those Dark Lanterns now that we've got the Ketmancer asterisk. And I'm just equipping an axe just because she's very proficient with axes there. But, uh, all right, let's, oh, do I want to heal up? Yeah, you know what? Why don't I, uh, 
rest up here a little bit. Yeah, it costs a bit more, but it's worth it. But yeah, I'm just going to make a beeline straight for Mr. Owl around here. And then we'll get out of here. But if I can get a new cat, Nancy, while the game is willing, so much the better. You know, did, I keep on thinking, like, did I disable the encounter rate? Sometimes I forget how low the regular encounter rate is. I mean, compared to, like, old school JRPGs. Like Breath of Fire 2! Or Final Fantasy Legend 2! But, uh, okay, here's the enemy I'm looking for, Anzu. They have a new cat Nancy for us to learn. So, yeah, why don't we all just default here? Sonic Boom! Well, I kind of went through that a bit quickly, but, yeah, we, we learned it. Hooray! Okay, so now, to deal with these guys... Why don't we go with three tornadoes and see how well that works? Should be more than enough, really. Yep. Well, that was easy. But, uh, okay, so, what do we got there? See, so, yeah, a nice thing about Sonic Boom is that not only is it wind elemental, but it ignores physical defense. But still, the base damage is the same as a conventional attack. So, you're not really getting that much of a boost unless you're exploiting the elemental weakness. Unfortunately, Catmancer cannot exploit every elemental weakness. In fact, it's only a few. So, But Catmancer is very useful for many other reasons. Just not that one. Exploiting elemental weaknesses, not exactly its strength, unfortunately. But that's what we got the Knuckles for. And remember when the enemies here were remotely threatening? Not anymore! Okay, so I think this guy's in the lower right corner. I forget if it's the one further to the right. I think it is. Yeah, there you go. Hey, Mr. Al. How's it going? Well, I have other qualifications. Oh, uh, yeah, that too. But all right, for finding... How about we get a Nodachi? Yeah, kind of pointless at this point. Oh, well. Well, I mean, it does have a point, literally, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's get out of here then. And let's see. Maybe I can complete some more bestiary entries on the way back. Oh, it is still daytime. Huh. I could have sworn it was... It, I must have just gotten in there like a split second before it was going to make that transition. Because I saw the color of the sky kind of change in there. And it's like, oh, I'm... Um. But actually, though, I still do want to use the event viewer to reset to daytime. I think the encounter rate in the water is a bit lower. But they do that in most JRPGs, or at least most of the ones where that I've played. Where I have the access to that knowledge. But yeah, let's get back to Gathladio then. We're done with our Catmancy collecting. Alright, and after that battle, I think I killed just enough vultures to, yeah, fully unlock the bestiary for everything around here. If I didn't, it wouldn't really matter because we're going to be doing some more traveling in the ocean soon anyway. So, we've still got plenty of time to fill out that bestiary. But I got it all done anyway. Hooray! All right, fought a ton of uh, consecutive battles there. I feel like the more I play and learn about the game, the luckier I get with Brave Attacks. And I haven't even gotten anything to help out with Brave Attacks yet. <laughs> yeah, usually I don't get JP up until about now. Not before going into the bow crater. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's uh, double check the setup here. Let's see, so... In the next area we're going to... Let's see, okay, so you're good there. Let's see, I want her... Hmm. I was going to say I want her on Warfare, but it might not be a bad idea to have miscellany. Well, I can use magnifying glasses if I need to. 
But let's see, as far as she's concerned, yeah, I do want her to have a tech item amp for certain situations. Okay, so everything is good to go there. Wizard with miscellany. Secondary, triple, good, precog, we're good to go. But with Tiz, I actually want to make him into a thief. Even though learning Mimic is a much higher priority for him, but I want to be able to steal items, and lots of them, and be able to do it virtually guaranteed. So to do that, yeah, I'm going to need to make him into a thief. I would want to master thief eventually anyway. But let's see. Okay, so you got miscellany. I might want him on warfare instead. Yeah, I think I'll go with warfare if I need the extra attack power there. But otherwise, pretty much the same thing that I gave to Adia there. Yeah, just make sure you've got attack item amp ready to go. And yeah, that'll really help out with your battle item damage. It's obscenely powerful for one support slot. Holy cow. I mean, it costs money to use, but still, it's really good. Okay, yeah, let's uh, rest up here while the inn is cheap. At least I think it's slightly cheaper here than at Anchim or any other town, really. Well, actually, you know what? While I'm thinking about it, let me go back to Eternia there. See if I can find some kitties over there. I'll try to spread out talking to the cats, if they're even around. Well, we got a goat here. Or... Whatever that thing is. I'm an engineer, not a zoologist. What do you expect? Besides, I would think cats wouldn't want to go out into the snow or anything. Maybe there's a cat at the hospital. Like one of those, uh... Well, anyway. But, uh, well, I could take a quick... I like how the, uh, goat just, uh... <laughs> You still get some dialogue anyway. Well, at least we put it to use here a little bit. Oh, uh, what's going on here? Oh, right, right. But, uh, yeah, I, I already know that. We got the level 3 spellcraft for both you and Magnolia. But, yeah, the blast spellcraft is going to be pretty useful for us but uh okay yeah we're uh no i didn't want to go there got a itchy trigger finger on that but uh let's yeah let's try that one again i want to get back to end time to advance the plot and i'll check out our campus in end time for cats later eventually but, uh, oh yeah, there's one other thing I want to do. I need to buy some Zeus's Wraths, because pretty much every enemy in the next dungeon is going to be weak to it. So yeah, 20 ought to do. That's just an arbitrary number in my head that makes me feel comfortable. There is no, like, specific reason I go for that number, really. And why don't we get a few more of those? That ought to be good enough. But, uh, okay, so as you can see on the map there, yeah, we get to go in, well, deeper into Anchime to advance the plot. We got to get to the top of this place before the Skyhold can get away. Well, actually, I know there's a cat here, or somewhere around here. Ah, there you are. Hey, how's it going? Oh, what about them? Well, I, I already fought them, though. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I've already done that, so we're good to go. We do want to have learning available for this dungeon, too. There's going to be a couple more Catmancy for us to learn. Hmm. Well, yeah, that was the, uh, what is it, wing scales that I got. Let me see if I have... Or how many, uh, what was it, Leviathan Sashimi or whatever that thing was? 
Let's see. Oh, I, I do need to have some of those. Because in order to learn another cat mancy here, we do need to be able to confuse an enemy. Whoops. But yeah, let's restock on that. Let me double check that that actually is the one that I need. Let's see. Okay, wing scales. Okay, Leviathan. Yes, okay. Yeah, so let's get up to five of those. No, I don't need the cake. That's not until later. But uh, let's see. Where are you? There you are. Okay, restock. And I'd like to have extras in the event that I... Or what is it? They recover from confusion. That can happen if you just... If you confuse an enemy, or even if you get confused, it could just randomly get cured for no apparent reason. But yeah, one thing that I definitely want to have going into the dungeon are the Mithril Knuckles. That'll really help us out a lot to exploit the inorganic creature type. Let's see, for Tiz, yeah, make sure you've got the Thief's Gloves. And let's see, Tiz is actually pretty decent with Mithril Knuckles, but I think I would rather have the Mithril Bow instead. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with the Mithril Bow. Even with the Mithril Knuckles, though, I mean, it's got decent proficiency, but still. I'll just stick with the bow, and if I can get a crit thanks to a katana so much the better it's not that much weaker than a dagger so i might as well take the extra 15 percent crit rate by equipping that to my head but yeah we're definitely gonna want to be stealing some items here in the grand mill work Sorry, spoiled that a little early. I thought it was going to do something. So what's oh up? Oh my! Look at all these gears. It's something, isn't it? The city of Vanshim is an industrial haven powered entirely by the wind, you know. Your gears are so big. All of us, a city powered by wind. You must tell me how it works. Well, we already had Norzen earlier. Me? Oh, right. Well, uh. You see, it's really quite simple. Don't you have windmills on the moon? So, uh, the wind blows, right? Woo, 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 and, uh, and the gears go round and round, like so. Yeah. And then, and then? You seem overly excited about this. Then the gears move the thingamajig, which is connected to a what's it? And, uh, uh, <laughs> Tiz! Magnolia's picking on me! Ha uh ha. -huh. That's what you get for trying to show off. <laughs> I'll tell you all about wind power later, Magnolia. For now, let's get going. Twisting shoe, how sweet of you. But it's okay. I pretty much already know. Good, good. Then what'd you ask me for? Sheesh. <laughs> But all right, yeah, why don't we, uh, oh, well, it was already making an autosave, but yeah, just get an autosave going. But yeah, this dungeon is mostly the same as the first game, but they've rearranged some things, done some remodeling. Well, oh, we got an adventurer right already here. But, uh, yeah, why don't we save here? There we go. So let's just go straight to the end. Oh, we can't. A locked door! My greatest weakness in JRPGs. But for now, let's fight some new enemies. All right, what do we got here? Iron Man 2, A-type, or however you want to pronounce it. These guys, let's see if they got anything that I want. Well, they do have a... A uh, cat mancy to learn. These are the guys that I would. No, I don't need to. Uh... What is it? 
I don't need to confuse them. They'll try to attack me eventually. But until then, why don't we examine these guys and go double lightning needle on all three of them. That should pretty well wipe them out. One thing about these Iron Man type enemies is that, well, since they're like robots, I guess, you know, come off the assembly line or whatever, they always have the same stat. Which makes logical sense off an assembly line like that. But, uh, oh, right, here we got the B type. These guys I would have to confuse in order to learn a Catmancy. I'm just thinking if I want to do that now or wait for another battle after this or whatever. Let's see. Why don't we wait for another battle to do that? For now, how about we just focus on... Uh, killing these guys. Let's see. With Tiz, though, with these guys, they're the ones that I want to steal from. So let's go... Okay, yeah. I don't have enough BP to examine them, but I'll have other opportunities. But I want to mug two of them twice because they have both a common and an uncommon item to steal there. So you gotta... Well, you don't always have to steal the common one first, but you usually will. Let's slow things down so you can see what's going on here. But yeah, these guys probably have about 2,000 HP or so. Not bad. Uh-oh. Okay, well, there's the item that I wanted, the Normalizer. It's uh, an accessory that you get, and it sells for 1,000 P each. It is really, really good for helping out with the money and all that. But, uh, oh, right, we got the third and final type, E-Type. And these guys, I don't think they have anything remarkable about them. Not as far as I can remember. I know some of the ones later do, but not this one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know anything remarkable about them. But, uh, okay, so this time, I'm going to try something new here. So, yeah, we examine them, and then I want to go Double Lightning Blast. The way Blast works is whatever spell that you use with it, it'll make it multi-targeting. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, why would you want to use that with Lightning, which is already multi-targeting? And the reason is because the Blast effect will cause or activate the group scaling of the Spirit Magic. And then that'll get boosted further by good measure. So even though Blast doesn't seem like it's doing something, it is. Trust me. And it should be good enough to get the job done. Yeah, look at that damage. I don't think I could have done that with three lightning spells on their own. Uh, let's see, with Tiz. Yeah, I'll go for... Another round. I'm not scared of these guys. Maybe I can get another uh, cat fancy out of them. Well, not these guys. Okay, so there's the cat fancy that I want to learn. It buffs their physical attack, but I need to confuse them in order to get them to work on me. And it looks like we're going to die. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay, so at this point... Let's see. I'm thinking if I can afford to default or if I really need to steal breath from one of these guys. I think I have to at this point. Yeah, they're just uh, dealt too much damage to me. At least, oh, not mug. I mean, eventually I want to mug them, but why don't we just go steal breath for now and see how well that works. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Oh, well, that is bad. Okay, if I can just survive one more turn. Let's see, I'm thinking if I actually want to kill the guy or not. I would rather not. Yeah, I'll just go steal breath and I'll probably die anyway. But we'll see. I'll use a phoenix down. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we got that. Now, let's see. I need to... Let me see what my speed is like. Okay, so... Idea... 
what I was, what I'm thinking about doing is using White Wind to heal up all my party members after uh, reviving them. But I, w I wanted to have Magnolia use half seas with Phoenix down on everyone, and then use the Cat Mancy. But she's going to be slower than Idea, more than likely. So, and I also want Idea to. Uh, what is it? Confuse one of them. So how about we just go with that? And how about we just heal up whatever I get with White Wind? And that should get the job done. If Magnolia can go first, great. If not, well, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so half seas. Phoenix down. So I'm only going to revive the others with 100 HP instead of 200. But the revival effect doesn't get hindered at all by half seas. Okay, so we go with that. I don't think it's even worth uh, trying to heal up maybe with like a high potion or something there. Now, nah, let's get out of here. I mean, let's get the job done, that is. Yeah, you see there with Waste Knot? That triggered because the Cat Mancy used item. Hey, hey, we got the, uh, what is it? The cat mancy from these guys. Okay, I think our work is done here. Let's finish the job before they decide to kill us even more. Okay, so this time we can go with, oh, actually I would like to examine them. How about we have Magnolia do that since she's a bit faster there. Okay, examine... Double Lightning Needle. That should get the job done. Let's see what else I could do. Oh, you know, I could have stolen more items from these guys. With Tiz. Oh, well. I got the Cat Manty. I consider myself lucky. So, but yeah, keep on stealing items from these guys. Okay, so we got all that, but I would like to heal up there. Holy cow, we took a beating. Maybe fighting that last battle wasn't worth it. Well, I did get the camp mancy out of it, so. Okay, so we're good to go there. And, okay. I think, yeah, let's just keep on going then. So what we gotta do is we gotta find a way to open those doors up there eventually. But uh, let's see what we got around here. We're in the lower right section of the Grand Mill Works. But yeah, we can't go up there straight away, unfortunately. Do you know anything about that? You're not going to tell us, are you? Oh, yeah, I, I figured that. It takes too long to be useful a lot of the time. But, uh, okay, so let's see. If we go down here... Ha-ha! Get a little treasure. Well, could always use more of those. All of those Iron Man enemies are weak to lightning. Um, let's see. Is this the way I want to go? Let's see. Okay, so... Oh, actually, let's go up here first. The other path takes us to, uh... Well, towards the end of this place. But I want to go up here. Yeah, there we go. And that will not open the gate. Well, you have to activate the switch in order to open it eventually. But for now, okay, so we've got... Well, we do have an A-type there, but... I would like to fight some more consecutive battles. So maybe I'll find them in a subsequent one as far as learning uh, the spellcraft goes. But yeah, Blast costs quite a bit of them MP to attach there. But it's totally worth it when you've got a lot of these guys here. And we can still deal enough damage to wipe them all out. Hooray! And we get a brave attack. Very nice. 
I don't know that I'll actually be able to use it very much, but we'll find out. But yeah, for now, just keep on going with Blast. Or Lightning Blast. Or Lightning Lightning Blast. Okay, here we go. This ought to be a good one to uh, learn the Catman C. There we go. Kind of a strange sound effect for that. Well, I was going to say goodbye, you, but uh, no, nope, no, nope, we can still get the job done. Okay, so with these guys, let's see. So if I use, uh, what is it, Zeus's Rafts here. So 500, they're weak to it, so that's 750. And then attack Item Amp, that's 1125. So I would need two of these to kill all of them. But I could probably just get the job done with my physical attacks anyway. So how about we just go with Trample on both Adia and Tiz. Although I could have Adia use White Wind. But since we're not going to fight another consecutive battle, I'm just going to heal up outside of battle anyway. Yeah, Adia by herself without using Zeus's Wrath, she could kill two of the Iron Man enemies with just Trample there. But if there's three or more, that's when I would want to use uh, Zeus's Wrath, though. But, uh, all right. So we got both of the Catmancy here pretty easily without having to go too far out of my way to make it happen. Very nice. Not really worried about the MP here because the adventurer is so centrally located. So if I ever really needed to, I could just go back there. Or there's, you know, and chime itself there. But, uh, okay, now let's take the lower stairs over here. All right, and after that battle, we gain the thief level for Tiz there to learn Dagger Lore. Though that's not really what I'm after. What I really want to get is Godspeed Strike. It is ridiculously good, especially with Mimic as well. But I do have other uses for Mimic as well. Just not, to, not just for that, but for other reasons too. But all right, let's keep collecting more treasure around here instead of advancing the plot. Why not? I mean, they'll wait. Yeah, one thing I really like about this dungeon is how they have a theme going with the enemies being all mechanized like that. But uh, let's see, over here... Let's see, I'm just thinking if I want to go down first, or... Why don't we go up first? Because there's just a little treasure over there. If I can remember how to get there. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're back on track here. I like how we got a job class with nut or er, peak or er, rank S knuckles proficiency. Just as we're encountering a dungeon where that would be useful, and they do that every now and then in the game, where they just give you something that would be useful right coming up, although not quite as much as, say, like Final Fantasy 3, but still, it, it's very nice. <clears throat> but, uh, okay, so let's see, over here, well, we got a little treasure over there in the lower left, but I can't reach it. Or can we? Through a secret passage. The Courage Ring. It makes you immune to the dread status. Not sure if I got that little corner there of the map, but it looks good. But yeah, we can't grab that other blue chest for now. Remember that for later, viewers. Alright, and after that battle, well, we got a job level for you that I really don't care about. I never used that ability. But more importantly, we learned Whisker Sense for Adia there. And eventually I'll want everyone to learn it, even though you'll only need it for one party member, just like with Precog there. But in this case, 
even though it's only 5%, you might not think that's a whole lot, but that can be the difference between getting another consecutive battle and more added onto the multiplier or not. It is huge being able to get those brave attacks if you fight consecutive battles as much as I do. So let's see what to get rid of here. Waste Dot kind of has a double effect for her, not just with battle items, but also with Catmancy as well. Hmm. Although I'm not really using Catmancy anymore. Once I got the the new ones, that's it. I'm not really using Catmancer for Catmancy as it is now. So I'm just thinking what to get rid of for Whisker Sense. Hmm. I don't really use attack items that much with her. Yeah, why don't we go with that? Get that going. And, I mean, she'll still deal decent damage with battle items. Enough to be able to kill them even without it. It would just be nice to use less items to get the job done after picking up another item. Okay, I think we're just about at the end of the road here. Hey! All right. All right. Well, we're done with our business here. I think we've gotten all of the... Uh, what was that? All of the treasure around here, but let me just double check that. Totally not an excuse to just get one more battle that I knew I was one step away from. But, uh, okay, yeah, we got the one treasure left. That's as it should be. So, we're good to go. Okay, so now... Let's see. Let's get you back on Waste Knot there. And, yeah, Whisker Sense already helped me out in that those battles there. I got two brave attacks out of the whole thing. But now, let's get out of here. Even though we leave, the door will still be open. So we won't have to, like, go through, all, go through everything all over again. But, yeah, I would like to rest up here a little bit. I mean, I suppose I could have done that with the Adventurer. But, oh, what else do we got coming up here? Oh, just some more items. Okay, we got it. More items. Let's see, I should have all the bestiary entries unlocked here after all those guys that I've fought there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, lots of Iron Men. But, uh, okay, so what else did we get? That Courage Ring. Is that it? Ah, and the Normalizer accessory. I forget what that even does. I wasn't even... <laughs> Like, I don't even care what it does. Wow, I got 28 of them? Holy cow. Usually I'd be happy with, like, 16 or something. Like, almost half that. But, yeah, I guess I got pretty lucky this time around. But, yeah, we don't really care about lowering enemy brave attack rates. That's what we got precog for. So, yeah, I would never use that. But I would like to sell it. It's not too good to sell. And we only need one to fulfill the... Oh, what is it? The item collection there. Oh, uh, well, I do need to uh, get into my item inventory. There we go. Yeah, look at that money. <laughs> yeah, our money problems are a thing of the past. But yeah, that is a really good way of making money whenever you see an enemy that has an equip a piece of equipment to sell. Chances are it's worth good money, better than anything else you would steal. That's one reason why I don't uh what is it? Steal from like every single enemy I encounter, like the first game. Because we don't need to do that here in order to get the money that I would like to have. But uh okay, so we got all that. Why don't we uh, get set up for the end of the place? Because I'm probably not going to get into another battle here. Okay, so you stick with Miscellany. Okay, so... See, I'm going to get rid of speed here eventually. But how about... Uh, no, I want to go for, well, a little extra defense. I mean, couldn't hurt. But let's see. Yeah, okay, so we get JP... Triple, good measure. That ought to be good enough for you. We don't really need Waste Knot coming up here. But I would like to have... Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's get defense up there. 
Okay, GP, attack, triple, and let's see. Well, you can't get a brave attack in a boss fight, so you might as well just go for a little extra speed or something there. Okay, so you're good there. Then, let's see, wizard miscellany, that's all good. I think I do pretty much the same thing that I did with you there. Yeah, yeah, this ought to be good. Yeah, we don't need precog for boss fights. And let's see, I still want Tiz to remain a thief. I don't even really care about the defense up. It's just, I have nothing better to do with all this. But, uh, okay, so we get all that. And then for equipment, yeah, let's get back our regular stuff. Okay, so coming up here, let's see, as a Catmancer, let's see, so, yeah, we don't have really good proficiency there with that. Hmm, let me see how well that works. Yeah, I mean, we lose so much attack power there. I'm going to leave it like this for now, but I might make a change coming up here. We'll see. But let's see. Okay, so yeah, just uh, stick with whatever you've got there. Get the rods. Make sure we've got the thief gloves ready to go, even though that is not an absolute guarantee. But it's pretty good. And I think I'll just leave you alone there, too. Okay, so for special moves, I want all of them to be water elemental now. As far as... Uh, yeah, the element goes. And I also want to have Dragon Slayer coming up here because we're going to be fighting a dragon. And that's why I was working so hard on developing uh, that chop there at the moon base so I could have it ready for now. Oh, uh, no, I want the, yeah, Dragon Slayer there. Okay, I think we're... Good to go, other than resting up here. Let's see, I don't think I'm going to have any use for... Uh, what was that? Oh, for debuffing enemies. Like, if I was to use Cursed Arrow here, we don't need to worry about that. Just take what they give you. Better to do that than to... Inflict another weakness or something. But so far, so good. Uh oh. What's going on? Oh, howdy, Mr. Jan, sir. Glad you made it back, sir. Uh, thanks. Dark. There's no way to talk to an officer. Sir Jan! <laughs> Your safe return heartens us all. Well, I wouldn't exactly call it safe. Oh, it's you two. I was hoping for someone more competent. Well, you switched to the bad guys. Of course you're not going to be competent. Oh, afraid we're fresh out of copper tents, sir. That is a joke. I get it. It's not funny, but I get it. Look, you, Jenny Olja, and his crew will be coming this way any minute now. What, you couldn't run faster? Leave him to us, sir. They're too much for you, and you know it. Yeah. So I've got a present for you. Oh? What's that? Maybe you've seen it before. The looker in the science lab? Hmm? What science lab? Uh, that slippery, slimy, slobbery thingy? How bad could it possibly be? That's it. As soon as the enemy arrives, point it their way. And try not to screw up. You hear? Well, what are they going to do? Yes, sir. How powerful could it possibly be? Why is Jan fi fighting for the Empire anyway? Can we stop him from making it back to the Skyhold with the Compass of Space and Time? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.